Sarah Hill, I'm one of the instructors here at Carlson Gracie London. I'm going to show you a Noma Plata from the Overwrap Grip from Close Guard. It's a great option uh, if you are a little bit smaller. I found this that with own Platas, big guys tend to stand up at your uh, submission. So I really, really like this variation. So I'm going to have Emma in Close Guard to start off with. So I'm going to break the grip off my belt to get the overwrap. My left hand goes across, grabs her sleeve. My right hand comes underneath her wrist and grabs my own wrist. My hips and my arms are going to pop up at the same time to break the grip. So I go up and I come over with my right hand. I grab the far lapel here. And once I've got this, I can let go of the grip on the sleeve. So I'm going to come out with my hand on the bicep to this stacked position. And here I'm looking for pressure on the shoulder and her, her wrist uh, and elbow. She here knows that I'm going to go maybe for the armbar. So she starts to turn her arm back like this. The armbar that I could get here now from popping forward is no longer available. So I'm going to have to switch up my options. But I'm in a great position here to finish the plata. So here, I'm going to keep the grip all the way through. My left leg is going to come out a bit and my right leg is going to come over and across her face. Helps if you're flexible for this one, coming over. And at the same time, I'm just going to push with my left hand onto her elbow to keep the grip of the, the arm tucked against my um, hip and my elbow. My left leg is now going to come out and I'm going to switch. As I switch, I can let go of this grip on the lapel. So I'm going to switch and sit up. My right hand is still pushing her wrist into my hip. So I've got the grip for the ampullata. And now I want to break her posture down. So my left hand's going to come across to her hip you can grab her belt or just tuck your fingers in to the lats. Now, my right hand's going to go on the floor. I'm going to put it down. I'm going to do like I'm doing a leg drag uh, position. Um, sorry, uh, uh, arm drag position. With my hand on the floor, I'm going to scoot out and pull her down. Legs are going to go backwards. My right hand's going to go under her shoulder. Grab the elbow with my left hand to keep this up. And then I'm just going to lean forward and finish the amplata. So here, that detail again from this position, swing the legs back, right hand under her arm and her shoulder, left hand just lifting up the elbow, and then I'm gonna sit forward to finish the amplata. So I'm gonna start in close guard. The first thing I want to do is break the grips to get the over wrap. So my left hand is gonna grab the sleeve, my right hand is gonna come underneath her wrist, grab my own wrist, and then I'm gonna lift my hips and my arms up to break the grip off. So up, and my right arm goes all the way up and over, over her arm and grabs the far lapel. Once I'm here, I can let go of this grip on the sleeve with my left hand because I've got her posture broken. My left hand then goes to her bicep and I use that just to push off, foot on the floor, bring my hips out. And then I'm gonna stack knees, shoulder, my wrist and fist and leg, keeping her posture broken. Now often I wanna go for the arm bar from here I clamp and I twist uh, my hips, but she knows I'm going to go for that, so she's going to defend. She's gonna, just going to turn her arm in, so I can't get the armbar anymore. The elbow is not in the right position, but I'm in a great position now for the implata. So I, to get the implata, I need to swing my legs over her head. I'm going to keep the grip, though, on the lapel to start off with. My left leg is going to come out from underneath her body, and as I do that, my right leg is going to go over her shoulder and it's going to come underneath her face, underneath her neck. So it helps if you're a little bit more flexible for this one. All the time I'm keeping the grip on the lapel. This is still locked. Once I'm here, now I can start to straighten up and let go. So my left hand can go on the floor to help me sit up. And as I do this, I can let go of the grip on the lapel. The hand comes straight to the wrist, pushes her wrist into my hip and I'm gonna sit forward and sit straight. So I'm attacking the shoulder here to finish the shoulder lock. The omoplata, I need to get her straight. I need to get her flat on her front. So my left hand, the opposite hand is gonna come across. It's gonna grab her belt, grab her lats here. My right hand now, this is nice and secure. My right hand's gonna go on the floor. I'm gonna put it on the floor and I'm gonna move my hips and my bum out and forward like I'm doing an arm drag. So here, and here she ends up really flat. So to finish the ampullata, I'm going to swing my legs back, 
My right hand is going to come under her shoulder, just grip under the shoulder. My left hand goes to the elbow to lift it up to increase the pressure. And I'm just going to sit forward and finish from here. So that detail from here, my legs swing backwards. My right hand grips under her shoulder. Left hand lifts the elbow up. I sit forwards and you'll get the tap. So it's a really nice variation of the own plata from the overwrap uh, close guard. I've used it a lot in competition and it's a really good option if you're a bit smaller than your opponent and works very, very well. Uh, make sure you tune into the Carson Gracie YouTube channel for more great techniques.